Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Vandy and I am here to serve up this orange smoky eye fall look because I'm so in love with the fall and I'm so here for this weather right now. I'll also be turning this into something glam for Halloween because I am on the go and I don't have time to buy costumes. So if you are interested in seeing how I turned into mother nature in the fall please stay tuned oh here i am bare face no eyebrows gonna head and fill those suckers in i don't try to spend too much time on them because when i do it can take me up to two days um so i won't torture you guys with the same process we'll skip on ahead to that second one Voila. Here I'm just adding a base from my Carity Concealer Palette and for the darker portion, I'm actually using the ELF Lock On Liner Brow Cream. Um, I believe this is in the color Espresso. I just want something nice and sticky for that to go on. And using my 35B Morphe Palette, I'm taking that orange color there and patting it on real good. I want that color to show up as much as possible it will get blended out and I'm just adding in that yellow to add a little gradient effect there now going into my Anastasia soft glam palette I'm taking that dark deep brown and I'm patting that on my lid and don't worry I'm going to be blending these all together And right there you can see a little blend action there. For me, I find it easier to use a small pencil brush to get those small creases blended out nicely. I'm going to take that Nowhere black color from the same palette. And I'm just deepening up closer to that lash line because I want it to be a dark brown fade out. On to the foundation and I am using Fenty Pro Filter in Soft Matte color 420. I believe this is a neutral color. Then going in with my concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty sponge. Not going too crazy with the highlight and concealer because I want this my face to be a little toned down so that the eyes would play up a little bit more. And I do want this to be kind of an everyday, or maybe even just Saturday look. Um, just making sure that I get that blended out real good. Then I'm going in and doing a light set with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Hitting those hot spots, you know, the usual. Then I'm gonna do an all over set with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Medium Deep, number 30. And I'm just buffing that into the skin real good. Again, I don't want a super, super beat face for this look. I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Contour Palette. Um, this is one that you can find at your local beauty supply store. It's something easy and quick 
you can do for a powder contour. Again, I'm not going for a super heavy face, so this is what I reach for, especially when I'm in a rush. And I'm going in with three, those three darker colors. I start with the darker color in the hollows of the cheek and I work my way up with the other two colors. That'll be a whole nother video. I can go over how I do my contour situation. It's not like the typical ones, but hey, it works for me. Now going in with my favorite gel liner, my Inglot in Black. Just lining my waterline, upper and lower. And I'm using a angled liner brush to do this. I find that this is the easiest way to get to my waterline without me bawling or one of my eyes turning red and falling out. <laughs> Then going in and smudging that lash line out with a pencil brush and then adding in some of that orange from the palette just to bring on the whole look together. Now I'm going back to that same Ruby Kisses palette using these colors to just bring a little bit of color to my cheeks. I didn't want to do too much color on the face again because I want my eyes to pop. Then for highlight, I picked up the Sephora Luminizing Palette a few weeks ago and I've been trying it out, going for that gold color. It's okay, it's one of those highlighting palettes that you do have to build up. I'm just sweeping that on my cheekbone, brow bone, and slightly into the temples. And I almost always, always highlight the tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and in the corners with the same highlight. As you can see, it's not super duper bright, but if you build it up, you could get, you could get beaming. lipstick and here's your finished product now for the fun part let's jazz this up with some glitter yeah and I'm just using three glitters I got from Amazon if I can find it I will leave that information in the box below and I just went with uh, orangey glitter, a yellow glitter, and kind of a iridescent bronzy glitter. It may be hard to tell the actual color payoff in the video, but I think it came out pretty good. And all I'm doing is highlighting the same areas I highlighted with earlier, and I'm just accentuating them. So this is definitely a look you can have a lot of fun with. You can put glitter pretty much all over your doggone face. Put glitter in your hair if you want to. Have at it. You can also have a lot of fun with the leaves. You can, I've seen people create leaf rounds, throw some extra jewels in the face. You know, it's just one of those things where you can take a look you already have turn it into something completely different and in this case I'm just turning into mother nature because I've got a party to go to and here's my little leaves and that's the finished look you guys all products used will be listed in the description box below Thank you so much for sticking around to see this transformation. And if you decide to do your own rendition of this look, I would love to see you. Tag me on my Instagram or Facebook at Vandy Vanity. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. This is my very first YouTube video. And I would love to see you back every Sunday and Wednesday for more makeup fun. Have an awesome weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by.